All right, we're gonna um, go through this for my homies at Tint Depot. So new blade holder and new 30 degree blade. So we're gonna take off our little cappy cap. We're gonna drop it into the top. It's sticking way out. So we gotta run this silver part way out. I'm gonna try to zoom in on this so you can see the tip where the blade is. So you barely, 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 barely wanna see it. Barely, can't barely touch it. And when I say a little goes a long way when you're twisting this, a little goes a long freaking way. Okay, that's barely out. I don't know if you can catch it in the camera or not. If you can't see it, it's because it's that tiny, but I can feel it. So we got that done. We move our super cool rag. We've got our media, and in our business, our media is window tint, right? So before I do this, I'm gonna grab my, if you know, you know. Okay, back to business. So we're gonna use light pressure. We're on a wooden table. We don't want anything too soft behind it, but you don't want it you know, on glass. There's a train going by, we love trains. So we're gonna put light pressure on it, and I'm gonna pull out on it. And we're gonna check it, cut right through it, all right? So I'm gonna back it off. And when I say back it off, watch this, watch this. Did you even see that move? Probably not, that little. We're gonna try it again cut right through it. We're gonna back it off again. Watch this, watch this, watch close, you miss it. Try it again. You wanna get it to where it scrapes and almost doesn't cut, and you'll see what I mean. So back it off again, just a little. I had to do two, because I couldn't tell. All right. Oh, you see how it cracked? You see how it broke? It means it's cutting through, but just barely. So now that you've got it there, lock that baby into place. Lock it with this. And I actually put tape around mine. Let me go get mine. Okay, so... There's mine, it says 30 degree on the tape. I blue taped it so that I never adjust it again because every time I put a new blade in here, it's gonna be the same blade. They're manufactured precisely. So I'm just gonna push this, pull the blade, old, the, the old blade out, put the new blade in and it's already set up. So it'll always be, it might change a little bit, you know, it might not be 60 on the next blade, but it's gonna be darn close. But this one might not be 60, this might be 63, this might be 68, this might be 45 grams of pressure. We don't know. Don't, no two will ever be the same. But anyways, so we're gonna go to the machine and I'm gonna show you what's up. So I've already got one set. This is for instructional purposes only. And I've taped it so it doesn't move. That's my 30 degree tint blade. Um, and it works at 60 grams based on the way I set this up. So it's not gonna be the same for the one we just did. But again, for learning purposes, we're gonna use the one we just set. We're gonna drop it in, tighten it up. And guys that say they, they're wasting feet and feet and feet of film to test, to do this, blows my mind. So we've got a test button right here. I've got it set to a minimal amount of film. I've got a 20 inch full roll in here. We've got it set to a minimal amount of film. I'm gonna leave it at 60 grams and I'm gonna push this really cool test button. That was way too heavy. You saw the film grab. So, but anyways, we're testing it. So now I'm gonna move my film out and take a look. Actually not. So it didn't even cut all the way through. So what happened was, is because I don't have a pinch roller here, and that's another thing to keep in mind, try to get the edges of your film on rollers as much as possible. But this one was too close. So anyways, for demonstration, it almost cut through, didn't cut the liner, but didn't cut hard enough through the film. So we're gonna reset it up so we don't waste a lot of film. Very minimal. We're gonna move over a little bit, hit enter, and I'm gonna bring the force up. That was 60 grams, which works with this blade, my everyday blade. 
and I'm going to bring it up a couple notches because it was close. We're going to go to 66, hit enter, and we're going to hit test. That was much smoother. I'm going to move the film out. It cuts a one inch by one inch square, which hopefully you can see. So now I'm going to test peel it. It also cuts away a little triangle in the middle so you can test the weeding portion of it. It was too heavy. It actually cut through the liner on the triangle, but not so much on this. And that has a lot to do with the Teflon strip. It's gonna be a little bit different down the strip. There's supposed to be fixes for that, but anyways. So that was a little bit too heavy. So we're gonna move the film back down so we don't waste film. We're gonna move over a bit. We're gonna push enter, and I'm gonna bring the gram force down one notch. Now we're at 63. Um, we're gonna hit our test button. Sounding good. We're going to run our film out. You saw that? Pulled right away. Pulled right away. Liner's still intact. So now that blade is going to run at 63, and this blade runs at 60. And I only used three inches of film.